Hey, Shalom, Yashala. I'd like to begin this video by saying Baraka Far, Yahawah, Ba'asham, Yahawah Shai, Ba'asham, Rakwa Kadash. I'd also like to say double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all of the sincere Akim worldwide pushing this truth in sincerity. Um, I'm the brother of Wal from the GMS London camp. Um, living through this Brexit situation at the moment where the government's literally got two weeks um, to deliver an ultimatum. Now, they voted against Theresa May's deal, which they claim would give them more negative stipulations than remaining in, remaining in the EU. And they've also, just yesterday, voted against a no-deal Brexit. Now, the Brits are supposed to be the go-to guys that all of Europe looks up to in regards to how things are meant to run operational structure, strength of government, strength of country, financial stability. And really, they've just shown to be exactly the opposite of that because this damn devil's whole society, man, is crumbling, man. Through the war and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and it's a beautiful thing because as the scripture saith in Job the 14th chapter and the 5th verse, the Most High has truly appointed their bounds that they can't pass, man. Meaning that no matter what these devils try to do, no matter what kind of stipulations or, or um, you know, laws that they try to push forward, man. Ultimately speaking, everything they do is going to fail because Yahweh Barsham Yahweh Shai is not with them to accomplish their mission, man. You know, I'm going to play a bit of this video and then, Lord willing, I'm going to just run through in the spirit a couple of things. So let's go. Maybe being a nation of misery guts isn't our fault. Maybe it's because of our actual guts. 500 MPs voted for Article 50, which said we leave on the 29th of March with or without a deal. And now we have a big majority in Parliament not to leave on March the 29th. And I think, you know, Keith, your interviewee, who was from the Remain camp, whether you'll remain or leave, we just want the government to get on with this, end this, this agony that we're going through, and let's get on with the rest of our lives. And to me... The Can I just say... This is a true fucking devil right here. Only logical thing we can now do is to leave on March the 29th with no deal because her deal has failed twice. But the, well, the Prime, Prime Minister she's says... She's doing her best to get her deal through, isn't and she? And she would say the logical way to get Brexit, in fact, if we delay, there's a danger that Brexit won't happen, the logical way to get Brexit is to go for her deal. Well, the trouble with her deal, and by the way, it's not a deal, it's a new European treaty. Uh, you know, I've read that treaty, I've studied it. In many ways, it's even worse than being a member of the European Union in terms of us being bound in to European rules, possibly in perpetuity. And, you know, the next phase of negotiations, and I met Mr Barnier earlier this week, the next phase of negotiations could take another four years. I don't think we want to go through that process. This deal's the wrong deal. The Prime Minister has made an horrendous mess of it so let's just leave let's have a clean break in a few days time and get on with things but the, the government the parliament's voted against no deal all the economic analysis says uh, no deal will be disastrous i i, I you you still want no deal yeah, because yeah, you want yeah. something to happen to take us towards brexit and you're right it does look like it might not be able to happen now i think everybody that voted for it will be fearful of that this morning but being practical and thinking of those whose jobs and lives depend on it, everything that we looked at looks like no deal would be disastrous. Look, we were told if we didn't join the euro, it would be a disaster. We were told if we, if we voted Brexit, half a million jobs would go immediately. The opposite has happened. This is not about some economic forecast, some doom-mongering. This is a democratic choice of the British people in the biggest democratic exercise in our history. We want to become an independent country, free of being governed by Mr Juncker and Mr Tusk and all of these people. And Parliament is not delivering on its promise. That really is the crux of this problem. Right, well, the plan is... <laughs> man, hey, man, that's the devil for you right there, man. That's the devil for you. Sit Esau Eden right there, man, like, it's in its purest form, man. Sit, <laughs> man. But look, I mean, at the end of the day, you got to understand the devil's nature. The devil is always going to do what the devil does, man, which is literally lie, dece lie and deceive out of his... T out, uh, out, uh, lie and deceive openly, man, straight from the camel's mouth, man. You, know, you read John 10 and 10, what did Yahweh Shai say, man? The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. Ultimately speaking, the thief, the ultimate thief, the man of wickedness is Esau Edom, who in modern-day society is referred to as the so-called white man, a Caucasian. You know, a European, but for the most part, really and truly, 
These so-called white people go back to the seed of Esau Eden, man. The perpetrators of wickedness, the damned devil, man, who through a process of elimination we have identified to be Satan on earth, man, the physical incarnate. Now, you got it to where a lot of these Europeans, man, are really, <laughs> a lot of these Europeans are disgruntled at Great Britain because they're causing all kind of anarchy right now, man. They've got, you know, you've got France, you've got Germany, you've got Belgium, you've got Italy. All of these countries have citizens that are based in, within the UK living here. Now, now they're going to have to take into consideration the fact that there's, and put, there potentially could be a mass exodus of people out of the, out of the UK back into these countries. They're going to, they're going to have to consider what they do with UK immigrants in, in their countries. They're going to have to consider you know border patrol in regards to what happens if there's a brexit and now people need visas and there's no more free travel you're gonna have it to where a lot of these countries like italy and you know your france's are looking at it like well if the if, if the if the uk is leaving the in the eurozone then why are we still in this like at the end of the day Satan is being divided against satan and it's all the spirit and power of your you read luke 11 and um verse 18 let me start from um, verse 17, because Yahweh Shai basically cursed out some scribes and Pharisees that say, said that he tried to say he came in the name of Satan. But he basically cursed them out saying, but he knowing their thoughts said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and a house divided against the house falleth. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? You know, and you can apply that scripture to this society because we know that this so-called white man is the devil, man without a shadow of a doubt. But in the way that his society is definitely split down the middle, you got to wonder and ask yourself, how is the society going to stand? The evident answer to that is that it ain't. Great Britain is on its way out, man. Great Britain is fucked. I'm telling you, come, come, come March the 29th, which is literally about two weeks away from today, there's going to be all kind of anarchy within the streets of London, man. Especially, well, especially London, but across the UK, man. You know, England, Scotland, Wales, etc. Because really and truly, man, these Edomites do not have a plan, man. They don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> they really do not know what they're going to do. And you've got it to where not only are people within, the, within this country so-called Great Britain, not so Great Britain disgruntled with the fact that some of them wanted their Brexit, they voted for it and they're not getting it. You know, you've got the potential of... Um, you've got the potential of immigrants based in the UK being told that they've got to leave. Like, all kind of manner of madness. No one knows exactly what's going to happen as of yet. But... There's a lot of there's a lot of um what's the there's a lot of hate in the air there's a lot of anger in the, in in the in the atmosphere man and this is all down to the fact that really and truly man no one knows who to blame for this Theresa May has taken a lot of the flack as the face for it but this is all the elite's agenda man. Joe fourteen just a second, just a second, just a second, Salakia Akiom. Your fourteen and five can't. That happens sometimes when you're looking for a scripture, you forget the exact salakia. Job fourteen and five. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. What the Most High has done is that he's appointed a specific time for Esau Edom's kingdom to go down. Great Britain, namely London, is one of the unclean fro frogs, the, the 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 financial capital of the world, and then to to. to to balance that out, you've got Washington DC, the military, and the Vatican, which is the, the, the religious state. But ultimately speaking, you got to where London right now is an anarchy, man. No one exactly knows what is going to happen within the great within the, the, this country in the next couple of days. No one actually knows what to expect. And that's all because at the end of the day, these these elites, man, are pulling the strings and they're bringing down Great Britain, man. Because, <laughs> man, 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 let's talk, let's talk about how within some of these European nations, you're going to have to have a, in, in, in a, 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 a driver's permit. To, you're going to have to purchase a driver's permit or redo your driver's license if you're not a nation, if you're not a, a native of that country and choose to remain there driving vehicles. They're talking about how they're going to literally 
um, levy mad taxes on imports into Great Britain. About 29% of the food that is brought into this country is, is, is imported from EU nations. If there's no longer a deal with these countries, what the fuck do you think is going to happen? All sorts of anarchy is, is about to kick, kick All sorts of anarchy is about to kick off. Things are about to get very, 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 very real, man. That second Ezra, the 15th chapter, is about to come to full fruition, man. And you got a lot of people out here just sleeping, man, unaware of what's going on. But that's how your hard bars from Yahushua is going to catch a lot of you people sleeping, man. Because the scriptures say, say if in Second Peter that the day of the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. And that really is the case, man. Because a lot of these people are out here just living life as normal, thinking it's just another day, everything's going on as normal. Until all of a sudden the Lord is going to bring in mass death, mass judgment. And hey, we, I mean, with this Brexit, there's nothing positive that can happen, man. You're either going to have a no deal, meaning that all of a sudden trade links stop, everything as it is just ceases and things just get very raw overnight. Or alternatively, you're going to have it to where they, they delay the deal, which is what they're trying to do at this current moment in time. Meaning that the people that voted for uh, for, for, for um, an exit strategy and an and, and actual Brexit are going to be extremely frustrated, which is more than likely going to lead to riots in the streets, anarchy. Basically, there's going to be a lot of judgment ringing down on London and Great, and, and, um, Great Britain as a whole, man. And it's all the will and power of your Shem Yahweh Shai that's allowing this to happen, man. The Lord, man, is going to open up on this bitch. And ultimately speaking, man, we got to keep faith, man, because the times are going to get hard. The times are going to get tested. That's the time of Jacob's trouble that it's leading up into, man. He used to say that, What's going on in America, where Donald Trump's declared a national emergency? What's going on in Great Britain, in so-called Great Britain, where this Brexit thing's about to kick off? They could use the chip as a way of monitoring people, saying, "Listen, if you want to have that free movement, if you want to, you know, keep access to your 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 day-to-day your day, your your day-to-day fun, um, fun functionality, such as the welfare, um, you know, your driver's license, or like your your driver's license, etc., you got to take this chip." Things are going to get very raw out here, man. But that's why we got to keep the faith because, of course, there's going to be an insurrection upon the men that fear the Lord as a safe and second Esdras. But before that as well, there's going to be hell, man, in these streets. People are going to be out here stealing bread, literally out here killing probably some level of cannibalism in certain regions of the world. you got that going on in Venezuela right now. Who's to say it's not going to get that bad here in so-called Great Britain and America? Because all of these food stores all you have three day supplies worth of food and then when that runs out then what hey the scriptures say if man revelations 12 and 12 you know second Ezra's again 13 14 15 chapter talks about you know the end days but you read revelations 12 and 12 and it reads therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil being the so-called white man is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time Hey, we're, we're still in the first quarter and you've had a government shut down, numerous killings. Right now they're talking about the killings on the streets and knife crime. Hey, you got to understand, like, these damn devils kill on a daily. Yeah, Theresa May, her alone, from the hits she's ordered, you know, you've got your, the Bush family, you know, and the, the previous, um, David Cameron, the previous prime minister of this country. They've got more blood on their hands than every single gangbanger, probably across the face of England combined. They actually sponsor the death of young children, man, you know, babies. But at the end of the day, no one wants to talk about that. Everyone wants to shine the light on Jake, man. Everyone wants to wants to have someone to blame. And that's ultimately speaking what's going to happen, man. People are going to be looking for someone to blame. And it's going to be Israelites, whether they be so-called white Israelites, whether that, you know, Israelite foreigners living amongst the heathen, whether they be, you know, Judah, Benjamin, Levi and um, and the other tribes mingled among them, so-called, the so-called blacks. Ultimately speaking, a lot of judgment is going to come, a lot of anarchy, a lot of division within society, man. And that's all going towards Second Second Timothy, your third chapter, when it says, um, this also know that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. These are all character traits that are being displayed by people at this current moment in time and really and truly is gonna is gonna tip over when all of this thing when this whole thing comes to a comes to comes to a head. 
because people are already demonic as they as it is. Imagine when they ain't eating bread or they can't get access to their to their money or you know like they they, they can't they can't physically move their family round about or feed their or feed feed their family. People are gonna turn against each other, man. Hey, close friends are gonna are, are gonna become worse enemies, man. The sung places are gonna become unsung, and really and truly, you can see that Great Britain is finished, man. There's nothing that they can do to fix this Brexit situation, man. Yahweh, Shim Yahweh Shai, three day elites have got these people in a trick bag, man. They think that this country is going to be good. They think that England's just going to flourish and bounce back. They're talking about how they rejected the euro and then it was still good. England is never going to recover from this Brexit, man. And Yahweh, Shim Yahweh Shai, Ra'aza, Lord willing, man, we're, we're at the door, man. Because in the spirit, these, I mean, we're at the end, man. But Lord willing, this year is the year, man. Yahweh, Shim Yahweh Shai, Ra'aza, man, because. I'm telling you, man, we're in the first quarter and this devil's already pushing hard, man. This Brexit thing is everywhere. All of these other nations are watching the, the UK to see what they're going to do about it. And right now, it's a shambles, man. Theresa May's deals have been voted out twice. You know, <laughs> they've decided that they're going to try and delay the Brexit. So now they've got to go to the EU and appeal to delay Brexit to see what happens. Hey, it's beautiful to see Esau's kingdom fucked up, man. And this is one of the stronger of the, of the ten toes, man. I mean, look at Greece, look at Spain, look at Portugal, man, Italy. All of these countries failing financially, man. Useful society is not built to last, man. And Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to bring it down, man. Daniel, Daniel in the second chapter, around about the 20th verse, man, spoke about the Lord's power to establish and bring down nations, and Esau's time to fall is now, man. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to destroy this place. But before Esau goes out, he's going to go out fighting, man. You know these Brits are proud as well, man. They ain't going to go out easy, but trust me, Yahabar Shimi Shai is going to establish a more righteous order, and that's us, man, the, hope, the hopeful elect, man, of Israel, man. But the nation of Israel is going to be the next rulership under Yahabar Shimi Shai's government, man. This Brexit is going to be fucked, man. <laughs> hey, man, I can't wait personally, man. I can't wait. I'm going to leave it there, Akiyam. Oh, yeah. Shalom, shalom, shalom.